This is Margaret Germain, and you're listening to Building Peace here on WKDW Radio 97.5 FM and KDWRadio.com online, broadcasting from North Fort Florida. And my guests for our program today are Elisa Burgos and Evelise Capo, who are, uh, have a company called The Food Pharmacy, and they are here talking to us about the vegan, whole food, plant-based diet and its impact on the environment and world peace. And they are about to do uh, a recipe for us, a dem cooking demonstration of a vegan burger. There All right. we go. That's yeah. right. Welcome back, ladies. This is one of those sta staples that you can have in your kind of repertoire and just mm -hmm. throw them together very quickly and easily. Mm -hmm. You yeah, can and vary you can the ingredients and yeah. Them. That's, That's what we do. Yeah. Yes, we always do batch cooking um, because we have a large family and it's always great to store these in the freezer. So we are plantifying here. Uh, the traditional burger and the first step plantifying, plantifying that's what we do um, we're gonna mash these beans and you don't have to mash them until they're hummus they're just lightly mashed okay so. we want to keep a little texture in there right so we take a potato masher and just kind of like you can even do it with a fork just smash them up a little bit they're still mm -hmm. gonna have that nice rough texture Right. Uh, we just want to break them down a tiny little bit. Break them down so that they um, are... That way they'll stick more to They'll stick more, yes. yes. And that's I tend to think veggie burgers are all about texture. I think mm -hmm. that's really important for it to be a really good experience. I had a friend once try to make one of my veggie burger recipes in the food processor. Uh, and she's like, oh, it was like, like mashed potatoes, why? Yes. And I'm yes. like, why did you put it in the food processor? Yes, you don't want to do that. Yeah, just give it a little tiny bit of love with the, right. with the potato masher and you'll, you're and good you're to go. you're good and you're good to go. Okay. So the next thing is just a few ingredients. And another great you know, thing with, about these burgers is that it's very few ingredients. One, two, three, four, five ingredients, six with the, uh, the uh, barbecue sauce. So we have rolled oats here. And you could also use quick cooking oats, and that makes them cook a little quicker. You could use what? Oh, quick the quick cooking, cooking okay. oats. Yeah. So that's okay. those are the uh, the oats here, and um, we have quinoa. Quinoa is we call it a superfood, a super grain. It's actually a seed, um, but it's a complete protein. It's very filling and it's gluten free. It's something that a lot of people are not familiar with. Yeah, but it's it's pretty cool. I you know I like quinoa and and it's something you can put on salads and all. So, yes, yeah. so you can make a big batch of quinoa, add it to burgers, salads, even soups. So we're adding here. The so quinoa. we have our raw rolled oats in here. That's going to help us bind right. the the veggie burger, and then the cooked quinoa is going to give us a little bit more body and more nutrition. Okay. So we're mixing both of those in. Mouse? Oh, did you do that? I don't I yes. didn't touch that. So the um, we are doubling our recipe here. So it would be if you're just doing a single recipe, it would be three cups of beans. Cooked it would be beans. Mm -hmm. cooked okay. beans. Yes, exactly. they have to be cooked. Very okay. good point. So so when you when you cook them, mm -hmm. you you take how much would make three cups? Um, about one cup. About one cup and a half, probably, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but so basically, they double in size once you yeah. Them. Anytime okay. you take the trouble to right. make something a little more time intensive, like soaking cooking beans, just do the whole bag of them. Right. And then you can store them, you can freeze them, and then you've okay. got them ready to yeah. go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good I always you. say my my grandmother used to cook beans every day, like a different type of bean. Really. She would boil some beans, and then it didn't matter when I don't they think were my for. My mother ever cooked a bean. <laughs> 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 yes, she would just like hamburgers. Yes. But, store them yeah. in the freezer. <laughs> you would store them in the freezer and they were ready to go whenever she needed them. So batch okay, cooking so is a great thing. Three cups of cooked beans. Three cups of cooked beans, one cup of cooked quinoa, one cup of um, raw. The raw rolled oats. Raw, okay. you know, it really, it, they're, steam. it, they're steamed. They're already cooked when you, mm -hmm. we buy them, but okay. just you don't have to cook them again. Yes. So basically. Okay. You don't want to make oatmeal is what we're right. saying. Right, you don't okay. want to do that. That nice, you can see it already happening, that nice um, large flake of the oat is going to soak up some of the yeah. moisture mm -hmm. from the beans mm -hmm. and that's what's going to tie everything together. Right. So now we're going to move on to flavoring this. We're going to add here some uh, garlic powder and it will be about half a teaspoon of, of the onion and half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. And then um, we're going to add some liquid smoke and this is really what's going to give it. Oh, so this smoke. is Yeah, oh, okay. just liquid smoke. Oh. Yeah. Half a teaspoon. So of this that. is the condensation from when you smoke and something. That's, um, okay, and you can get that in the seasoning department. That's the usually available in the store near the barbecue sauces. Oh, and okay. if you look at the ingredients in okay. barbecue sauce, a lot of right. times they yeah, have liquid smoke in them. Sugar and smoke. <laughs> yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> that's right. 
So people associate that smoky flavor with meat, generally speaking, but really you can acquire that with a lot of other things and then make better choices. We also really like smoked paprika. Um, there's different okay. ways that you can get and that. But you can. that's not something that's bad for you. Oh, no, no. Yeah. You can get that scent, actually. Yes. Right? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's <laughs> It smells like you've got a like burger going on. Oh, so I think one of the things that you were saying is when people eat meat, they're not really tasting so much the meat. They're that's right. right. The, all the, the seasonings, the seasonings yeah. and the, the, the seasoning the them with plants. Yeah. yeah, with plants. So, yeah. so we're going straight and to so where the flavor is. The same thing. Yes. To, to this. Yeah. Then um, we'll add half a cup of uh, barbecue sauce, okay. and you want to make sure when you buy your barbecue sauce that you do read the ingredients and try to get one that doesn't have any, you know, added lots of added sugar or. Um, well, I just got one that's made with sucralose, which. Um, yeah, well, you want to, yeah, sucralose is not really a, yeah, a, a, know, a good sure choice either, but the worst so. is, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the worst one would be high fructose corn syrup, so yeah, staying away from that would be great. So the barbecue sauce is one of the little tricks, again, for people who think they're going to miss certain flavors, certain textures, it, it doesn't have to be that way. You can mm -hmm. use this barbecue sauce, and there are some that are, you know, pretty pretty integral. They, they have very few ingredients and they're all real food. I always say, if you, you're looking at the ingredient list and it's got this list of polysyllabic terms that you need a, B, a PhD in biochemistry to understand what they are, <laughs> right. that's not food. Yeah. So we want to avoid those. And you can make your own. If you really, really wanted to avoid any of these things, like mm -hmm. there's recipes online to make your own barbecue sauce using molasses and yeah. date mm -hmm. paste and things like that. Date. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Date paste. Dates yeah. really yeah. bring in the... In my house. They, yeah. they tend to be eaten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> all right, so we're just stirring this all together and now... Now to bind, you want to use ground flax seeds, or in this case I'm using some ground chia seeds, so it depends on what you have available. Okay, yeah, and, okay. Yeah. so, yeah, and the flax seeds, I put flax seeds in my oatmeal, or a lot of times I'll have squash for breakfast, mm -hmm. but with, with flax seeds, flax seeds have been uh, proven or connected with preventing breast cancer. And, right, uh, yeah. You know, like a tablespoon a day of flax seeds is, actually has a very positive effect. So you're using that in your cooking. This is a. Uh, you're using the chia seeds. The, we're using the chia. You can use either or. Yeah, um, people you know. used to use the chia for the chia pets. And right. Yes. Yeah, the same yeah, one. Yeah, the chia pets. But yeah. you know, now we find that that it's it's a really beneficial seed. Right. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, these burgers bind really well just because they have the, the oats and the quinoa and, mm -hmm. you know, and those mashed beans. So the flax seeds are kind of like that, you know, just extra little punch there to stick and mm -hmm. also nutrition-wise, very, very healthy for yeah. you. They have the omega-3 fatty acids. For the uh, flax seeds, you have the lignans as mm -hmm. well. So that's where you want to And this, this is uh, gluten-free. This so, is all gluten-free. I'm on a gluten-free diet. Yes. It it's affects my joints when mm -hmm. I eat wheat, so I get uh, I don't have celiac, but I a lot of people are allergic to wheat, and that's something that they yes. don't even realize that... Uh, so that, that's a whole other layer. That's though. a whole other lecture <laughs> there. We could talk for hours about that. But yeah. our family went gluten-free a few years ago cause, because our daughter developed psoriasis. Yeah. And even though she's been yes. vegan since birth, but we did in the beginning use a lot of processed foods, mm -hmm. and I think that we used yeah, a, lot a lot of wheat of and seitan. Yes, made with you know, mm -hmm. processed vegan things that are made with wheat. Right. And that's, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, when you get, so. yeah, yeah so like with anything, the more processed really causes can can get really flared up with yeah. with gluten. Sure. So it's it's fairly easy to make things that don't have that ingredient that you want to avoid that are still going to be nutritious mm -hmm. because I find that a lot of the commercial you know gluten free labeled mm -hmm. products. When you look at the ingredient list, it's just, it's really not food. I mean, they've got yeah. binders, egg whites, a bunch of starches. It's just not, mm -hmm. not nutrition. Yeah. So we do want to make those, those healthy mm -hmm. choices. And so you're using uh, better quality um, grains. Right. right. Yes. And, and, yes. and, and, and not any fillers. Or right. Yeah. And a lot of the wheat has been... Uh, perverted or modified genetically and modified right. Right. so yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the and the so amount of gluten has been increased and we right. used to only eat wheat when it was in season mm -hmm. now we eat it all year round and they've manipulated the seed so that it's 
you know, higher gluten content. So and that would be to, because it increases the sponginess and makes it so right. that the white bread is spongier and right and softer. For some reason, and, we like mm -hmm. that. And Elise actually has a really good uh, millet flax pancake recipe that you can see on the Food Pharmacy's YouTube channel. And it's just, you know, she grinds up her own oats, she grinds up her own millet, and then she's got, you know, a healthy, nutritious mm -hmm. alternative. Yeah, yeah. So there are definitely lots of options. Yeah. All right. So, so we'll, shall we shape these? Yes. Yeah, so right. then once you've got it all combined, all you do is you want to make little bowls and then flatten them up into little patties, OK? Yeah. So, so an ice cream scoop is handy, or you can use your hand for that as well. Depends on how big you want them. So. Right here, you have your little burger ball, <laughs> and then you can shape them into patties. And actually, this kind of recipe is exactly the same if you want to make it into meatballs or if you want to make, um, right, say, a meatloaf. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of base. It's just the shape that you're going to give it. Yeah, I mean, I've even had people do it in a, like a cylinder to make it so it fits in a hot dog bun. So you can really um, put your own stamp on this. Yes, and it's funny, the first time I made these, so I made different veggie burgers, but these you can see the, the actual bean in there. My girls thought they were chocolate chip cookies. They're like, oh, <laughs> you're making cookies, Mom. <laughs> yeah, barbecue nice. flavored oh, cookies. Barbecue flavored. <laughs> yeah, they do look like that. They look like oatmeal chocolate <laughs> yeah. cookies. When they're baked, even more a little bit. But yeah. yeah, so and then you can make different sizes. You can make little sliders. Um, so it really depends on what you're doing. This staple. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, absolutely. These are filling and mm -hmm. delicious. They're addicting, actually. Yeah. You have to yeah. confess they are. Oh. <laughs> but you can eat as many as you want. <laughs> yeah, they always go over well, and kids like them, too. I mean, I, I taught a cooking class once where I made veggie burgers. They were uh, a lentil mushroom, but the barbecue sauce is really a key flavoring agent there. Uh -huh. So I had somebody come up to me after the class. This lady came by, and she said, listen, I, I need help because I, I need to know how I can get my kids to eat healthy. And she looked over the side, and her son had eaten his veggie burger sample, and he was taking another one. <laughs> and she looked at me like, what just happened? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. well, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, you just give them good food, but you want to make it flavorful and delicious. Yeah. And, you know, with the veggie burger, if you put in those condiments, right. you can have that same experience, all those goodies that you would put on your, your old, yeah, I, your I old school version. I who, who made uh, soy burgers, and he made a whole bunch of them all in advance, and they were pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are, we are going to have disasters in the kitchen. That's part of the process. But, but, you know, That's that was, right. That was where he was at, and he was happy with that because mm -hmm. he was gluten-free and vegan, mm -hmm. and this was his answer mm -hmm. to that. But now this is uh, this is this, this is, is just yeah. Amazing. I can tell just by the smell that I yes. would rather eat this than his soy burgers. Yes. Anyway. You know, and you can add you can add other things to this. So this is like the basic recipe, but yes. you could add some onions and peppers. Yeah. You could grate add like carrots, grated carrots, grated carrots, carrots or, mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. So yeah, mushrooms are supposed to be you know real good anti-cancer. Oh too. yes, they are. Yes, they're very so powerful. A lot of we could also have another whole lecture on mushrooms. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think about the vegan cheese? We make homemade. Um, oh, okay. You know, you cashew, cashew based, or, and you know, sometimes yeah. she'll make uh, tofu based. Um, there, there are options for that. It's, it's basically the same idea. The more processed something is, then usually it's not going to be a, be a better alternative for us. Yeah. But when we're transitioning, a lot of right. the times these are very valuable products. <laughs> yeah, or as a treat once in a while. Yeah. Uh, and it depends. You have to check the brand because there are brands of. Um, veggie cheese that are labeled that way, but they actually have casein, which is the, the right. protein from it, milk. Right, to say vegan, some of them yes. just say lactose-free. Exactly. Right. And that's, if you're really vegan, then you want to stay away from yes, the you casein because yeah. that's a milk protein. Yeah, right. it is a milk protein, and not just for the ethical component of it, but also the casein is what they tested uh, to see if it activated right. cancer or not, it and was, it does. It was that milk protein. It was that, that milk was protein. The the ingredient that they gave, the raptor, the mice, yes. turned yes. on the cancer, the cancer genes. In, in, yeah. it, it, as the, it became the cancer promoter. Yes. And that was in uh, Forks Over Knives and the China Study, the book, The China Study. Yes, that's right. Dr. Um, T. Colin Campbell. Yes. yes. Evelise is actually an instructor with the T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition Studies. Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> so she is up to date on all the information. I am you guys, I am your fan now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Glad yes, to hear it. They do yeah. have amazing recipes mm -hmm. and um, 
articles in their website. And so you can go to nutritionstudies.org. Mm -hmm. They also have a Spanish version. Um, so um, they're Spanish outreach coordinator. We're creating resources for the um, Hispanic community as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's, that's really amazing. And you go into schools and stuff, too. We have gone to schools and, and taught programs, summer camps okay. as well. Um, yes, yes. It's, yeah, the, it, the kids learn how to make these things. They're a lot more invested in actually eating them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, well, like the example I was giving, they, they think it's going to be this challenging process to get their kids to eat healthy. Right. But if they can be involved in, you know, selecting the, the veggies and, you know, growing things is great. They really... They love that product that they had a hand in creating. Mm -hmm. So, and these things are fun to put together. I mean, you just yeah. kind of smoosh it up and make your yeah, little circle. Yeah, the kids can make them. They can label them. I've had students put, you know, like there's a little <laughs> cilantro label in this one, that's mine. There's an M in that one, that's mine. And, you know, it just makes it yeah. more fun. Yeah. Right, right. And now, do you do, like, um, you can go to people's houses and do uh, workshops or stuff. Do you do like parties, anything like that? We do. We that do. Would be a fun we thing do. To do. If you want to have a healthy birthday party, you can call us, and we'll definitely entertain. No, no. Well, okay, that's, 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 that's a neat thing. But I'm thinking um, adults and right. having mm -hmm. like a party of you know people come over and learn how to do how to some cook of a dish, stuff. a cooking yeah. party. Yes. Yeah. 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 We do um, some more informal, so we have the cooking classes. We have one coming up on the uh, 15th of March, I believe. That's going to be exactly this, kind of like easy weekday meals, kind of, you know, down-home favorites. And that's um, going to be where? That's going to be at uh, our location here in Sarasota. At our kitchen. Mm -hmm. So they can find out about that on the Facebook page for the food pharmacy. Okay, so food pharmacy spelled with a P-H. Yes, the, the food, food pharmacy. pharmacy. The, the food pharmacy. pharmacy. Yes. 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 On Facebook, and if they go to our website, they can also sign up for our newsletter and get all of the information. All of the events. Okay, mm -hmm. tell, tell me your, your website. It's thefoodpharmacy.com. Okay, that's easy. So go to thefoodpharmacy.com. Food pharmacy with a, spelled with a P-H. Yes, yes. Um, there's one out there with an F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want that one. We want the food pharmacy with a P-H. And uh, we have uh, all of our events. We have an ebook with many of our recipes. It's called the Food Pharmacy Family Favorites. Um, and that's pretty international. It's a mixed bag of, of yummy recipes. And then we do the get-togethers that are a little more informal. So we'll do um, a brunch and learn or a dine and learn. And people can come and they can taste the food and get to know each other, create community, and informally discuss a topic like heart health or how to set up a pantry to make it easier to cook healthy meals. Um, you can see this recipe in particular, these veggie burgers, these are pantry staples. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got your beans, you've got your oats, you've got your quinoa and your spices, and you can put this together any day of the week. Right, yeah. So yeah, yeah, are we ready to pop these in the oven? We are. All right. So okay, how so are we going to bake these? Formed, so we're going to bake... They look wonderful. <laughs> yes. We're going to bake these at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes, then flip them. You, you want to uh, brush a little barbecue sauce on the side. So before we put them in, we're going to brush a little barbecue sauce on the top, put them in for 15 minutes, and flip them in another 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to make sure with veggie burgers, you know, like when you're making anything, you don't want to dry the food out. Right. So you want to have that nice moisture, but that sealed exterior. So that's what we're going for. Okay. Okay. All Great. right. So, so we're, we're into the oven. Yes. Yeah, so we're you know, we'll have a day. Um, uh, kind of transition that way so that you're not not making a complete commitment to being vegan but uh, trying it out maybe doing a, a, a meat-free Monday or something like that right. this, this would be something that you could do and eat every meal that you uh, decide not to eat animal and products mm -hmm. has an effect on, on the world, has an effect on your health, has an effect on the environment. So it definitely this is does. A, a good thing to, to do. Yeah, and I think you can also go by meals. If you want to make a transition, you can say, okay, well, all my breakfasts are going to be plant-based. Okay. And then the next week, well, my breakfast and my that's lunch. Easy. And then, you can do, yeah. You know, oatmeal or oh, sure. Right. We, yes, we make so many things with oatmeal. Yeah, as long as you're not, and, and there's like, you know, if you, if you, you know, really want cereal for breakfast, and you uh, yeah, get some almond a lot milk of different types of milks, mm -hmm. and just you know, it took me a while to find the the I like the cashew milk, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, that I one's put, very good. And I put coconut milk in my coffee, coconut creamer, but it's it's not it's there's 
it's so easy these days, really, to to be vegan because there are those things. You right. don't have to absolutely do everything from scratch. 